awning set up so that'll give me a bit of shelter from the rain. My wee tent. And look at that! Look at that fish! Here at the start of the track I'm about to walk up. I've got about two hours walk up there and then I'm gonna start looking for fishing spots, set up a camp and I'm gonna stay up for two nights so really frothing for this one eh? Hey, this is uh, one of my favorite spots. So nice to just get here in the car and just hear the beautiful sound of the Koromiko, the bellbird. It's gonna be a beautiful walk up. A little bit of rain no matter, looking forward to an adventure. Let's go! I've made it in, I see my camp up different spot to what I was planning but just the weather wasn't actually that great it's still been raining on the walk in uh, the river's quite colored now rising a little bit so I thought maybe the fishing might be a bit tricky today so I just wanted to grab this nice campsite I've got the bivy awning set up so that'll give me a bit of shelter from the rain my wee tent a uh, little fire so should be good um, yeah, a little bit of colour in the river. So I'm not holding out too many hopes for the fishing today. So I just got back to camp, had a bit of a walk upstream and a bit of a look. Um, didn't even see any fish in the water just as I thought. It wasn't flood quite high, quite coloured, gonna kick back, have some food, have a fire uh, and save the fishing for tomorrow. It looks like it's blue sky now so hopefully so hopefully the river will drop over night tonight and uh, tomorrow morning the fishing should be awesome so looking forward to that. Gotta keep an eye on the gear around the campsite visitors those wickers will actually grab your gear and run away with it if, if they get a chance the sun's just coming up and so I'm up having breakfast getting ready for the day uh, overnight we didn't have any more rain which is great and looking at the river it's come down about six inches and it's starting to clear it's still running with a bit of that brown kind of beach tannin in it but um, should be back on site fishing today so everything's looking good sun coming up over that ridge this is the pool just down from where I've camped haven't seen a fish in here yet but maybe once the sun gets on there there's a fish just down here feeding. I'm going to have a go at it. Wow, I saw my fly and just freaked out. I can't believe just how spooky these fish are. 
So we're about halfway up a pretty hardcore gorge section. I've only seen a couple of fish and they've been too hard to catch. And there's a little fish just sitting out here in this run. I thought that was a dip. Made it back to the track. So today has been epic, but it's been super tough fishing. The fish have just proved to be so, so hard to hook. And I've resorted now to five pound uh, fluorocarbon with no indicator. I'm just being reminded that these fish are just unbelievably hard to catch. The sand flies are out now. In force, so I thought there might be a few rises, but hasn't happened at all. Um, this is a spot actually you might remember where I camped previously. Um, had my hammock just over there. But uh, someone did come fishing through here on Sunday. I don't know if that's got anything to do with it. I just think it's a reminder that this piece of water. Um, as beautiful it is as it is, the fish are just <laughs> super hard to catch. Alright, day three. It's an absolute beautiful day. Some guys just showed up in a helicopter flying overhead, so I'm hoping that they haven't just dropped off a guide and a bunch of anglers upstream from me. That'll be a bit of a shame, but perhaps they're hunting. I've just been uh, over the top of a pool that I was fishing and it spooked all the fish, so it definitely didn't do any favours. But yeah, beautiful, beautiful day. Everything's looking perfect. This is a spot where last time I was here. There was a big fish, like five, six pound plus, and it's a beautiful bit of water. Yeah, so the fish is just lying. On the other side, over here. I'm just going to go to ultra stealth straight away, no indicator, tiny little emerger, and uh, going to need a bit of luck to make the rest happen. Ooh, it saw it and spooked. What did it see? Is it the tippet ring? I don't know how that spooked. I've got my tippet ring and then about a foot and a half to that. I just don't know what I did wrong there. <laughs> but uh, I'm going to put the jet boil on and I'll have a cuppa and then um, Hopefully the fish comes back and we can try something else.
had the sunglasses in my top pocket on the way here and I leant against a tree and snapped the frame off there pretty gutted but obviously I need the glasses for um, for this fishing trip so <laughs> improvised up a bit of sticking plaster and it seems to do the job so sorry if they look a bit budget but I needed glasses they are budget they're just Alibaba jobby ones eh but still saving up for the big Smith uh, chroma pop lenses apparently they're the bee's knees but in the meantime Alibaba five bucks I don't think I can blame my fishing today on these glasses anyway <laughs> temperature's harsh here now like it's not freezing but there's a beautiful sunny day down the valley but up here it's just not that warm it's got like a good few layers on and I'm still <laughs> not tasty the sun just doesn't seem to reach into these valleys now that um, autumn's come around I've been fishing up this river now this is my fourth day I've spent on it this month and I've not, not caught a fish yet. It's proving extremely difficult. Um, you probably will see in another one of the videos um, I've been camping further down on this river system and fishing like the golden hour in the evening when a little rise comes on and that's been brilliant. I've caught six fish down there just fishing like an hour or two in the, in the late afternoon. Um, so over four sessions I've got six and the fish are still rising down there which has been great but up here further up the valley it's a bit cooler dry flies not really working not really having a rise fish are spookier fish are bigger it's more beautiful so it definitely has its pros and I'm definitely loving it um, but yeah it's super super tough super tough The fish has come back. So we've got the green caddis, <coughs> gold bead, got it. Yes. We go down the screen. I don't think the fish is done yet, but it's not running a lot now. I think I'll feed it a bit more line so I don't snap my tip at. Head's not coming up, so I don't think it's ready yet. Alright, it's off again. 
<laughs> wasn't really. The head gonna come up? Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, to say I'm happy with that is an understatement of the year. <laughs> Yeehaw! Oh man, that is just superb. Okay, I guess we better weigh him. <laughs> It does look like a good fish, it's going to go over 6 I reckon. Seven and a half pounds! <laughs> Superb! Oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> look at that! Look at that fish! What a beauty! <laughs> oh my gosh, that is epic. finished the walk it was uh, pretty tiring on the way back to be fair but uh, I was just smiling a lot of the way back just thinking about that fish man that is absolutely superb what a fantastic ending to the mission um, I feel like I really deserved that fish I've definitely leveled up a couple of um, steps and uh, yeah that little green caddis without the indicator just seeing that fish turn and take that nymph the line come tight oh my gosh that was unreal so um that fish will definitely go down in my history books anyway is one of my favorite fish i've ever caught and um it's been sorry a few samples and so yeah this has just been another incredible adventure a couple of wicked nights camping out um just gonna re-energize with a quick feed of noodles i just stopped for a feed for the drive back um so yeah just want to say thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the adventure if you're enjoying my channel i'd appreciate if you'd subscribe um, like and write me a comment and uh, i look forward to sharing more adventures with you 